What's happening, y'all? I figure I'd go ahead and break this down to you the best I can with this piece of paper here because it really helps out. Now, with that Roland D20, I will say that right here it says uh, enter the performance mode. The performance and synth indicators light up. When you go into performance mode, is what I go into a lot. I don't go too much into the timbre. But anyway, if you hit edit, it'll take you into patch, tone, lower, and upper, and then common. Now, when you go to that patch there, ah uh, man, let me see. The patch is kind of like how you change the sound, but the tone, here, let me go ahead and change the page. All right, now, when you want to go multi temporal mode, you have to hit the multi temporal button, and then you hit edit. And then you can go to Timbery, uh, edit, the edit the Timbery, edit the tone, and then the common. Now the common, now the common is a little bit deep. Now I don't know, know whether not y'all can see this or not, but let me go ahead and go over some things with you. It says TVA envelope, TVA level. TVA envelope, TVA frequency, WG pitch envelope, WG form pitch envelope, WG pitch, and there's a common, and let me see, where this gets real interesting that, like right here, it says common, and the structures is one and two, and three and four. And all this up in here, this pitch, this pitch course, and the LFOs, and the waveform, and the time, and the cutoff frequency, and all this, this really, really helps. But you might want to make sure that you, how can I say this, save it or either write it down. If you are trying to bring it up again, you might need to write everything down. And remember on these right here, when you go to the LFO depth, if you hit number one, partial one, you can change change the uh, numbers here. Uh, partial number two, you can go over there and change it. Partial number three, change it there. And partial number four, you can change it. Talks about the LFO rates. There's a right button and compare button, but anyway, now this is the real, this is the real deal right here. The structure number, structure number one, structure number two, and all of them right here. I don't know whether or not y'all can see it, but take a look at it. That's what it's all about. That's how it winds up taking the, the signal and mixing the signal up. This is how you get all those different type of uh, sounds right here. Right here, take a good look at it because if you get this machine, this is what it's gonna be all about. Right here. Right here, this is what it's all about. And gives you kind of information on what, what the envelopes do. What the PCM does, the WG pitch course, the WG pitch fine, the WG pitch. Now I'm going to read something to you. The, the key follow, the WG pitch KF, using the keyboard of a synthesizer assigns a semitone to each key. This parameter can change the pitch ratio as shown below. This is when you're really getting off into really tweaking that machine. This is some interesting stuff right here. I don't know what y'all can see this, but this is uh, 
dealing with the uh, S1 and S2 on the machine. The S1 stands for pitch 1 cent higher than 1 octave. The S number 2 pitch 5 cents higher than 1 octave. The LFO rates, the LFO depth, the modulation sensitivity, and the bender switch. WG waveform, square, sawtooth. Y'all see that? This is some of the sounds that it does. It does uh, bass drum, hi hat, uh, china cymbal, hand claps, congos, bongos, bell, cowbell, tambourine, claves, um, piano, xylophone, wind bell. Uh, it does all these kind of crazy little loops too. It does all kind of crazy loops that. Uh, I think you might like. I'm sure that that y'all, the people who have this machine, know how to get some of this stuff. But let me take this pen out. Let me put this over. All right. This is called the WG Pulse Width, and as you see. From the uh, picture, that you can change the WG by doing this right here. And this is the pulse with velocity sensitivity, and you can do all that right there. It says the this sets the sensitivity of the velocity that controls the pulse with from negative 7 to positive 7. With negative values, the pulse width becomes smaller by playing the keyboard harder, and with the positive values, the pulse width becomes wider by playing the keyboard harder. Now I'm just going to show y'all some little parts of the book right now. Pitch envelope. TVF uh, frequency envelopes. Resonance. Key follow frequency. TVF frequency. The TVF bias points. Let me see. Uh, the bias points. This sets the range point and direction where the bias level is valid from um, less than A1 to uh, less than C7 and from, pos and from greater A1 to greater C7 in semitones. This is the TVS bias point and the TVS bias level. This is the envelope depth, the TVF envelope now this is the real advanced stuff on the on the keyboard but until the next time y'all hopefully I've helped answer some some uh, questions that y'all might have the book I mean just let me know man I mean I got the book here and the book goes into depth man for real. You know. Um, here. Here's a good one right here. Alright. This is the, the MIDI sound module, MIDI in, MIDI out. And of course this this um it just tells you how you can send your different MIDI channels to another sound module which makes this machine pretty doggone useful alright so until the next time y'all be cool